Dear friends in Christ Jesus, Today we are at Cana in Galilee witnessing a wedding feast. We did not receive a formal invitation, neither do we know the bride or the bridegroom. That's not important here. What is important here is that we are part of one of the rarest wedding celebrations in the history. What is special here is not that the wine ran out during the celebration, but that at the right time, one of the guests steps in and provides abundance of wine. That too, the best wine, by performing a miracle of changing water into wine. Who can work such wonders? Only Jesus. Thus a miracle performed at Cana becomes the first miracle performed by Jesus according to St. John. Today we focus our attention on the characters of Jesus and Mary. We look at Mary's sensitivity towards the needy. We have seen this quality in Mary before when she went to assist her cousin Elizabeth. We meet her again today with the same virtue of sensitivity when the wine ran out. She intercedes for the bridegroom to her son Jesus, thus inviting us to be sensitive people in a world that has become so insensitive to the needy. Although John accounts the miracle at Cana as the first miracle performed by Jesus, Mary his mother during her 30 years of life with Jesus knew Jesus was a wonder worker. Yet she never asked him to perform a miracle. After all, charity is supposed to begin at home. But for Mary and Jesus, the needs of others came first, and they never used their power for their own personal benefit. What are they telling us today? Today, they are telling us that God's gifts to us are not for our selfish use, but for the benefit of all. That's exactly what St. Paul is telling us in the second reading. He enumerates the many different gifts of the Holy Spirit given to different persons and reminds us that each person is given a gift for the good of the community to put them in the service of the Lord. Mary and Jesus never wished any praise or publicity for what happened at Cana. They in fact did it very quietly without attracting any attention. However, the story did leak. Otherwise, we wouldn't know about it today. It was not Mary or Jesus who leaked it. Probably it was the servants because the evangelist states that only the servants who had drawn the water knew what had happened. So Mary and Jesus not only set an example of sensitivity to the needs of others, they also tell us that good deeds should be done without expecting praise, publicity or reward, unlike many people in the world today. We also see the embarrassment and shame on the host family. But the good thing is that Jesus was invited to the celebration along with his mother and his disciples. It essentially means that if Jesus is invited and if he is our guest, we have nothing to fear. We will not fall short of anything. Instead, he will provide us with the best and in abundance. Let us put all our resources for the common good. And let us make sure that Jesus is a permanent guest in our celebration of life. And ask Mary, our Blessed Mother, to intercede for us. God bless you.